Mike Gaffney. Come on, come on. More, more. Thank you. Ah, thank you guys so much, man. Thanks for coming out tonight. I just uh, got back from, I went to the doctor. I don't like going, so like it's a big deal that I even went. I don't want to go to the doctor. I don't want to find out I'm dying in a week and a half. <laughs> I don't want to go to the doctor when like three things are messed up at the same time. Like if I'm coughing and limping and maybe like have hives, like, oh, what the hell is that about? Then I'll go. Am I dying? <clears throat> That's not. <clears throat> but I was out of town. I wasn't feeling well. So I went to like, a, like you know, little ready med doctors, like little storefront ready med joint, urgent care. So I went to the doctor. I wasn't feeling well. Never been there. He comes in. He's like, wow, you look horrible. Like, you don't know me, man. What the hell? I, this is the way I always look. I could be here for my ankle, jerk. You can't, you can't just walk in and diagnose someone off their face. He just walked in and was like, your face is broken, right? That's busted, it's not right. It's messed up. Hurt my feelings. Made me go to my doctor when I got home because I was just nervous. So I was like, why do I look so sick? So I went to my doctor, my doctor did all my blood work and he says, Mike, your cholesterol and your sugar are very high. So what you gotta do is you gotta cut out all candy and walk 20 minutes a day, Mike. Can you do that? Can you walk 20 minutes a day, Mike, and cut out all candy? If you can do that, I'll be out of your life. I'm like, well, I don't want you out of my life. <laughs> You're a good guy, Doc. You think I'm quitting candy? Get the hell out of here. Put me in your phone. I'm not going anywhere. Uh, follow me on Facebook. <laughs> quitting candy? He's like, don't you wanna be around when your kids get older, like see grandchildren? I'm like, absolutely. But I also want Reese's, so figure that out. Uh, <laughs> Back to the lab, invent a pill. <laughs> you think I'm giving up Reese's for grandchildren? Get the hell out of here. I won't give up Reese's for my kids that are here. Not like, I'm gonna give up Reese's for maybe children? I don't think so. <laughs> I love my kids, but not enough to give up Reese's. I do, I love my kids very much. I love them very much. I like them very little. Suck. I've been raising them by myself for a long time, bro, so I, got, I can say that. They, they suck. They, they, I got the same gripes as every other parent. They're lazy, they want money all the time. My son texts me last week from downstairs. I was upstairs. Text me, hey dad, can I get 10 bucks? I was like, yeah, no problem, buddy. He's like, cool, I'm in the garage. Cool, I'm upstairs with your goddamn money. What the hell is wrong with you? I'm supposed to be excited to bring you money? Like, oh my God, thank you for the opportunity. I'm so grateful. Can I do anything else while I'm down here? <laughs> Jerk walk. <laughs> but he's realistic. He asked me for 10 bucks. My daughter, my daughter's, I wish I had my daughter's courage <laughs> to ask for money like she does. She doesn't even think, her courage is inspiring. She doesn't even think no is an option. <laughs> right before Halloween, it's like, Dad, Dad, can I have $120 for our costume? What, what the hell is it? It's a really cool pirate outfit. Uh, you're 20, why don't you wear what you got on and go as a broke adult? Get the hell out of here. I spent 120 bucks on an outfit, you're wearing that to every event. Uh, you're gonna wear that to parties, weddings, funerals. Yeah, you'll be the only pirate at your grandmother's funeral. Oh, Grandma, get out of here, 120 bucks. I love my kids, man. I'm just not very, I'm not overbearing. Just not overbearing. I let them live life, man. I was in the airport, I'm at the bathroom. I come out of the bathroom, I go to my gate. I swear to God, it's 10 feet, bro, from the bathroom. I walk over to my, and I hear this woman yelling at her son. I told you home, and I'll tell you again, mister. He was like 11. You're not going to the men's room in the airport because there's creepy men in the goddamn men's room. And I was like, I just came out of the bathroom. They have something to do with that? You can see what I was doing from out here? No, I thought everyone used a hand dryer for that. Uh, no, it's a long flight. I don't want to chafe. I posted that on Facebook, but I also posted like an angry rant about how this mom won't let her kid just venture the world. Like he can't, he'll, he can't go 15 feet. He can't just go right there. The little bubble. What do you think's gonna happen to that kid? 
Kids just go to the bathroom, let them walk in and wait outside. What do you think, somebody gonna take them? Well, if you see like large luggage come out with your kid's feet hanging out, like, <laughs> they're like, yo, yo, can I get my kid back? That's my kid. You got my kid in your bag, I want my kid back. I posted that on Facebook, the amount of mom hate that I got wasn't even worth the joke. It wasn't even worth it. The amount of mom, you don't even know. <laughs> you don't even know, Michael. There, you don't even know. I, she is a good mom. You're a horrible dad. You don't even know what's happening in the men's room. No, actually, you don't know what's happening in the men's room because you've never been in the men's room. What the hell do you think is going on in there? Then it dawned on me, women are creating a world that doesn't exist. It's all in your mind. It's in your noggin. What the hell are you, what's your visual of in the men's room? What do you think there is? There's a bunch of naked dudes dancing around? Yo, send in some kids, man. Right? I want to touch a kid! No! It's not happening. Some lady was like, you know what? There's perverts in there. Really? Perverts? My mom would have let me pee in an alleyway where perverts were known to live. I'm like, mom, there's perverts. I know. Don't lollygag. All right. Have a good night, guys. Take care. Good night.